Hey guys, it's Doug here, Doug Mr. God, Board Game Geek. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to this third uh, quick unboxing video that I'm doing. And as you can see, this time it's going to be something that's near and dear to my heart. I hope the game's good. But uh, it's Highlander the Board Game, which just was recently kickstarted, I believe. And it's, um, I did not get it through Kickstarter, but I just wanted to say I got both the, that the expansion, some other things with it that I want to show. Now this this one, um, this one I, I watched some gameplay on it. Um, and it looks pretty good. I, I'm excited about it, but I'm, I have some trepidation because this is a game that holds special place in my heart. For example, uh, my younger boy, his name is Connor. And I wanted my older boy to be named Duncan, but my wife wouldn't let me do that. So she said Duncan Donuts. Well, okay, I get it. But there was, you know, Connor McLeod and Duncan McLeod of the Clan McLeod. And that's what Highlander is all about. So we're going to pop this open. We're going to take a look at it. And let's see who it's by. River Horse Studios Canal. And you can see I got other stuff with it. Um, yeah, and so, uh, so sold as a set. Do not break down. So anyway, this is a set that we're doing. Um, I'm going to pop that open. I got my... Handy dandy exacto knife right here. So we'll take the wrapping off of it and see what is inside Highlander. And now I know while there are miniatures, it's not like you're moving around a big. Oh, let me let me pull this off before I keep speaking. There we go. Because that was some loud like cellophane type wrapping. I got these buttons. I don't know what they're for. I think they're just to be cool. You will wear them during a video and you won't see me because I'm not on camera. Okay. Anyway, uh, this is the base game right here and this is the expansion. It's called The Princes of the Universe and I think it just comes with some more characters that you can play. Maybe some more cards too, I would imagine. But this is the base game. You can see that uh, by the game box, it's not like a big game but there's, there's quite a bit of gameplay in here. I watched some, some gameplay of it. It is for three to six players, it takes about 15 minutes. See, it's not a long game. Ages 14 and plus. Now, the videos that I saw took more than 15 minutes. I, I think it's probably more of a 30-minute game. Um, and I don't mind that it's short. Um, although, being that I'm such a fan of the High Highlighter series, it would be nice if there was some kind of, of adventure game type game of this that would take you through time. But what I'm doing now is opening the box. So as you can see, there's not a lot in this box. Like, you take the tray out, there's the, co the counters and the tokens. These are the, the, play the characters you get to play. So you see, and this is um, this is interesting. It's not really a hard stock, but it's definitely thicker and beefier than like a playing card. A little bit. It's like maybe a double thickness of a playing card. Anyway, there's a namesake himself, Connor McLeod. You can see you can put your allies here, your weapons. These are starting stats, and you can upgrade your dice as you go. Because like I said, I watched some, some play of this. It says, when you discard an ally, you gain two quickening tokens. Quickening tokens allow you to upgrade your dice, reroll, things of that nature. Okay, and then you have... Now, this does not look like Sean Connery. I think this is more from the TV series or something. But this says, Juan Sanchez Villalobos Ramirez. And if you watch the series, that was Sean Connery in the, in the movie. Uh, of course, he'd been around a long time by that point. I didn't watch a lot of the TV shows. The movies are what, in, well, the original movies what intrigued me. Uh, and that's interesting. And then you got uh, uh, Penten uh, Iman Fasil. He was killed in the first movie. Don't want to give you spoilers if you haven't seen it. But if you haven't seen it, it's an old movie. So it's your fault. Um, and then, of course, one of my favorites, the Kurgan. Victor Kurgan, he uh, had the coolest armor ever in a movie at that point in time when that first came out. It was really awesome looking. Uh, and it's played by the uh, awesome Clancy Brown, who uh, I love in everything he does, even as Mr. Krabs on SpongeBob. And then you have uh, uh, Sunda Castigar. Castigar uh, was a, like a scimitar-wielding guy that was a friend of Connor McCloud throughout the years, another immortal. Um, and then you have... Uh, Nabinaga Menemoto, and uh, that's him right there. I think, yeah, I believe that's him. And then you have Talia. She's ruthless. Anyway, those are the ones from the base game. And you can see they each have a corresponding mini. So let's look at the Kurgan, for example. Here's the Kurgan. And these are good. These are hard plastic miniatures. They're well detailed. And that's because, I mean, that's the meat of the game, right? As these minis. That's the, you're only, that's the biggest part of the game is having this mini. Here's, um, here is Juan Ramirez, right there. Spanish peacock that he was. And let's see, this is obviously Connor, Connor McLeod, right there. And let's see. So if there's a guy with a suit with a, yeah, there's um, uh, Fazil with his Salamanca broadsword. Um, I probably didn't pronounce that right, it's been a while, but anyway, that's you get the idea. And then there's, this that's, looks like the female character. Yeah, 
those are the miniatures. And then there's a big, big, giant stack of cards. We're going to pop those open. And by the way, there's an insert here. You notice if you watch my last one on Komenots, the one thing I gave it a kind of a, a slam for uh, Plaid Hats games is having a lot of stuff in it. Lots of stuff and no place to store it. So you got to get your own baggies and things like this. There's all kinds of cards in here. There's uh, weapons. Uh, there's the Claymore, which is uh, Connor McLeod's weapon. Uh, the Brutal Mink, I don't know whose weapon that is. Uh, but you don't have to be that person to wear to use that weapon. Twin Blades, there's the Toledo Salamanca, that, again, that was from the movie. There's the Faded Scimitar, that was from the movie as well. And the Monstrous Blade, which is the Kurgan's weapon. The Ivory Hand, Ivory Katana was, um, was, um, uh, yeah, uh, Juan Ramirez's blade, but then ends up with the, um, uh, our guy, the Highlander. And then you see there's these, all these event type cards, and so there's several different decks, and they do different things, and they're, some of them are part of a timer as well. Some of them will have things that you do, new arenas you fight in, people you deal with, and it looks like they kind of blended this the TV series with the movies in here, which I think they would have to do, because they need to have enough content. Like, see, that picture's from the movie, for sure, uh, as is that one, but I saw some that didn't look like they were. Um, trying to see, like, that one. That's definitely not from the... the movie itself. So anyway, that is the deck of cards. Then you have a, some series of dice because you're going to have this pool of dice that you can constantly upgrade. Then you have these tokens. These are uh, your quickening tokens and then the initiative tokens, initiative rounds that you have. And here's the board. And this, this is really the board. I mean, it really is this simple. It's just this. You got the arena. You have the, the area for the gathering. I think it's two sides. This is where you play initially, actually. So you have your encounter board, the era board, the arena, and the fate uh, fate items. Now, that's where you might lose your head. And it shows that the very simple straight start of turn. You start your turn, you take your actions, you duel if you need to, and then you end your turn. You duel when uh, you both pick or roll the same initiative number. And if nobody re-rolls, then you end up in the arena and kind of duking it out. There's other ways to end up in the arena, too. And then you saw those weapon cards. They're going to go here, and you're going to get to beef yourself up with new weapons. And then I guess when you go to the gathering, you're going to end up over here. The Gathering, if you are not aware of, is the final battle that takes place in the movie. Okay, and then you also have some things that talk a big storyline. So I don't think the rules are that beefy. I think the rules stop right here. And then the rat last, last half of that is talking about the characters. See, there's Sunda Castigar, Iman Fazil, um, Juan Sanchez Villalobos Ramirez, uh, and Nami Naga um, Minamoto, who's a woman. I didn't know that. That's interesting. And then there's uh, Ix Italia and the Kurgan. And then, of course, our guy, Connor McLeod, right? And so the rules themselves are not that beefy. It's not a, a beefy game by any stretch of imagination, but it does look like a lot of fun for me or any fan of the Highlander game. Now that you've seen that, I'm going to pop this back in the box. We're going to... Don't want to leave the characters out. And then we're going to take a look at the, um, the expansion, the Princes of the Universe expansion, which, if you know, it's part of the, it's like one of the songs in the, the movie is from Queen, and it's the Princes of the Universe. Queen did all the, which is another reason I'm a fan of the movie. Queen did all the original music, or most original music in the movie. All right, well, we got our handy dandy um, X-Acto knife here. Let's take this out. You know, as much as I try to train myself not to say things like, um, on video, I still do it. All right, uh, let's see what we got going on with this box here. So basically, it looks like we have a bunch of new characters. I don't know who they are, because a lot of them won't be from the series. So we're going to take that out. We'll look at the miniatures in a minute and see who the characters are. Oh, so there's a different version of Connor McCloud. It looks like... Um, oh, it's the Russell, Russell Nash version, which is interesting. So that would be this one with the katana instead of the old Highlander version of himself. This is the future version of him. So that's just interesting. It's alternate on that. And then you have, uh, let's see, who's this? Vincent Smy. These are from the TV series. I said I didn't really do the TV series as much. Um, Iman Fazil, but this is like an old version of him, so obviously he appears again. And then there's the Kurgan in the modern day where he shaved his head like a crazy guy and had stitchings. And he got his throat slit, so he had these pin, like, like safety pins run through his throat. He's pretty crazy. And then there's another version of, uh, this is, oh, this is uh, not the same guy. This is... Ikmu Sek, the peacock. So they have similar, um, they have their background similar. So Amy Grant and 
Ixataya again. So she looks like she's mine or Incan or something like that. So those are the new characters that come with it. And then there's a bunch of new cards as well, it looks like. Uh, events and other stuff that you can get. So I'll pop that open. I don't know what the, how this expands on the, the gameplay. Or I don't think it makes it any more complicated, I would imagine. It does not. But that is the way the, go, the game goes. So there's more events and stuff that you can see. They just go, I just think they just build right into the deck and just add to it so there's yeah there's main a lot of more a lot more stuff and uh, there's a way you build the deck i have to read the rules on that i'm not 100 percent certain but there's a way that you build the deck and then of course like like i said you have all the characters for those people right here yeah there's the crazy kurgan with his shaved head and that's when he so he had bits and pieces of his armor over his leather jacket in the movie Again, love the movie. Hope this game is is as good as uh, it seems. Even though it's a fast, short game, that does not mean it's a bad game. But that is the Highlander board game, guys. So thanks so much. I appreciate it. Three quick unboxings this weekend. We're going to get all the videos up. They'll, I'll po post one each separately so you can kind of watch them in individual components because some of them had some detail in them, like the one for Comanauts. And actually, I spent more time on this Highlander game than I thought I would. Uh, but guys, that is the, the unboxing. So thank you so much. I appreciate you watching. I appreciate your likes and all that good stuff. So please like, share, and subscribe. I, I really uh, love my community. I think you guys are great and um, can appreciate you more. So uh, if you do want to support the channel greater, you can go and, and uh, become a patron of mine, which will uh, help me to get to my 4K camera that I'm after. <laughs> so I can start filming a higher, even higher quality. So uh, thanks so much. I will see you in the next episode of something. Odds are that is going to be either Madeira, could be Highlander, could be, awake, could be Awakening Lair if I have enough time in between, or it could also be, I don't know if this, this might take a longer because you have to do all the assembly of miniatures and everything, but Shadows of Brimstone, Forbidden Fortress is coming. So uh, that's what's going to be coming to the channel. But like I said, that one may, be, may take a little longer. And... If you stay to the end of the video, there's going to be a little surprise probably later on, or maybe I've already done it. It's very possible I've already done it. I'm going to do a live stream of Subnautica Below Zero on the channel. You know, I played the whole series of Subnautica. If you missed that, go back and watch it. It was a lot of fun. Um, I enjoyed it. I know the viewers enjoyed it. Got a lot of great commentary on it. And they're coming out with a massive expansion that I'm super excited about. And uh, so far, it's in early release. So there's still there's quite a bit of content, even though it's not complete. But, be that as it may, that's going to end this episode. So thank you so much, and I will see you in the next episode. Take care, guys.